Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Saturday, August 23rd, 2025. Chronica, South Carolina. It's a quiet small town and it's been rocked by chaos today. On August 23rd, a swarm of seven earthquakes led by a magnitude 3.0 rattled homes in his sparking fear that a larger earthquake could be coming. So I'm going to look into this recent swarm of earthquakes. And this is the small town of Karanika. Two-day swarm of seven earthquakes range from a magnitude 1.5 to a 3.0. is currently happening near Karanika, Greenwood County, South Carolina. With the strongest event being a magnitude 3.0. And that occurred at 11.17 p.m. yesterday. Late last night on Friday, 228 people reportedly said they felt this earthquake. And USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. USGS Did You Feel It web page is not working, so I had to make this larger. There was over 500 reports of these earthquakes. It looks like we got all the way past Greenville. There's also reports by Newberry, Greenwood, and past um, Barra, it looks like. At 11.41 p.m. last night, there was 25 reports. USGS also gave it an intensity level of 5. This Did You Feel It website is, in fact, working. Uh, we got an intensity level 2 there. Yeah, no names listed. Looks like most of them were intensity level 4. But USGS said it was intensity level 5 for this one and the other one. Now intensity level 5 means it was felt just about by everybody. There's some breakage of dishes. Windows would have broke. Plaster. Cracks in the wall. Disturbance of tall objects. Did you feel this earthquake? And what kind of damage did you have? What did the motion feel like and how long did it last? Please put those comments down below. I think they're very interesting and very important to know. At 11.17 p.m. last night, there was a 2.9. 20 people said they felt that and USGS gave it an intensity level of 6. Actually meaning it felt like maybe a magnitude 4 or 5. Felt by all. Many people were frightened and ran outdoors. Falling plaster, not just cracks, and chimney damage. Uh, unreinforced, maybe masonry would have fallen down. And damage, yeah. Did you have, you know, severe damage there? Let me know. Yeah, wow. USGS often downgrades earthquakes, but with damage, plaster, and chimney, and masonry, yeah, uh, and often they don't report all the earthquakes. Altogether, they are reporting 500 felt reports across the region. Often when people send in felt reports, they don't even post it. So here we got intensity level 5, but there's something out there USGS isn't telling us. Yeah, when they say it's intensity level of 6. These are what's called or interpreted as intra plate earthquakes meaning there's no known fault lines within this area and they shouldn't be happening um, we got the Soldea River and often rivers and streams will follow where fault lines exist yeah intensity level six wow so it probably the damage was by Harris Landing here's the 2.9 let's zoom into that area Do you have uh, damage to the docks or the infrastructure there? I would like to know. Using Google Earth, here's the image of that location. We got a gas station. Let me go down the road here a little bit. And yeah, it looks like masonry. Okay, we'll come over. Yeah, so what kind of damage do you have? We have a bridge. Uh, what's the infrastructure like for the bridge? 
Has anyone been across that area lately? Yeah, you notice that we do have uh, road degradation here. Oh, and we got, yeah, the joint here where the cement meets the road. That don't look too good. But this image here is, is uh, well, it's from this year, last month. All right. Yeah, look at that. Look at those cracks. Are they worse today? Has anyone been across this bridge? Yeah, if so, let me know. Wow. You know, our bridges um, are in poor shape nowadays for the majority of the country. Yeah, here we got um, a 1.9. And that was listed as today, but um, time, time frame. Let me look. All right, here's the 1.9. Yeah, right at ground level, 0, 0.0 miles in depth. Wow. Yeah, okay, let's go to that site. Two people reportedly felt that earthquake. Intensity level 3. That would have been at 1149 last night. Here's the felt report. Looks like as far as Columbia. Okay, intensity level 3 there. And Waterloo intensity level three not good yeah i would not want to drive across this span during a large earthquake we also got another 1.9 over here yeah um yeah 11 41 p.m last night close to this area there's two boat docks or boathouses, excuse me, with uh, piers. This very shallow swarm of quakes is part of the East Piedmont Fault System, and it was felt across Greenwood, Lawrence, and 96. Like I said, there was over 500 reports, and um, supposedly no significant damage due to the low magnitude of the quakes. Yeah, but a 3.0, I have my doubts, okay. Uh, 1.3 miles in depth. This swarm began about 12.17 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I imagine that is Thursday. With the 1.5 peaking with the 3.0 at 11.17 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on the 22nd. Followed by a 2.8 at 11.23 and a 2.5 at 11.41. Um, all in all, uh, four to five kilometers in depth. Well, that's not true. That's been revised. And it's centered about 2.3 miles north of Karanika, which is down over here. So it was also felt in Clinton there, uh, 20 miles northeast as light shaking. Ongoing minor quakes. There is a 5% chance of a magnitude 4 aftershock. Within a week, South Carolina used to experience only 20 to 30 quakes a year, mostly less than a magnitude 3, with swarms common in the East Piedmont Fault System. I'll bring that on. I'll show you to where it's at. It's over here. Okay. Is this a warning of something larger coming? Are you prepared for a larger quake? Yeah, this area is capable of having a magnitude 6 or larger. But they're finding out now that they estimate how large the quake could be by past quakes. But they know now that that is not the case, that future quakes can actually be larger than what has occurred in the past. Um, let me bring this out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got um, down here by Summersville and Charleston. Okay, back in 1913, there was a magnitude 6.6. .6. Yeah, uh, how much would still be standing? Are you prepared? Do you have medical supplies? Um, do you have um, a backup bug out kit, emergency supplies? Yeah, in 1886, you yeah, have the Charleston earthquake. That was a magnitude 6.9, maybe as large as a 7.3. Yeah, the, the world is a rocking and a rolling lately. So did you feel this quake? 
Do you know people that felt the quake? Please put your information down below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please stay prepared. It's always better to be prepared than caught off guard. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.